Live on 15th and Market Street on a homeowner's balcony that overlooks this massive homeless encampment below us. And you can see right there, it um, just goes, goes all throughout the perimeter of the public storage behind us. The couple that lives here, they're afraid for their safety. They took these following videos from their own home. Last night, we aired a video of a homeless man here at 15th and Market brandishing what appeared to be a handgun. San Diego police, they took the man into custody after that story aired. And today, police Police released that man from custody because the gun in question was only an airsoft gun. Apparently, this is the same individual who was wielding a large knife at this same location earlier this week. All of the video was taken by a resident we're about to interview who lives in condos right upstairs from this scene, who fears for his safety and says the homeless man, it does he does things like this every night. And he also took video of officials making this homeless person clear out his encampment. This morning, we should mention all of the tents were cleared by the city, but they are now back in the very same location. So joining me now with all the details on this, the man who shot the video himself, Giorgio, thank you so much for talking to us. I wanted to ask you, what, what do you think needs to be done? Really, uh, I, think, I think Mayor Gloria needs to come down here and leave his taxpayer-funded security detail at home and put on a mask and walk around East Village and then tell us if he feels safe, if he would feel safe having a family here. Because I think his answer might be very telling. Uh, we need action from the city and we need action now. He needs to be here in San Diego, not in Sacramento. And he needs to take a look at this for what it is and he needs to protect the citizens. Because, you know, we're, we're at a point where we, we are in fear for our lives. Giorgio, thank you so much for letting us uh, report from your, your balcony. And of course, we did reach out to the sheriff's department for more on their beds and if they're at capacity at the county jail. She did reply back. Sheriff Kelly Martinez, according to her, she she told us, quote, we are at capacity given our current staffing levels and the type of individuals in our custody. Every jail system has a maximum capacity rating, but the actual capacity or ability to house is always lower because some people need to be kept separate because of behavioral or medical psych conditions. Some groups can't be housed together, rival gangs, etc. We have the ability to be about 70% of our capacity rating due to those conditions, end quote. We also reached out to the San Diego Police Department for more on the arrest and more on the man being released now back out on the streets and they have not yet commented back reporting uh, in downtown we'll send it back over to you in the studio all right lindsey vacana we'll look for your report at 10 as the cycle continues thanks so much well,